into our Kickstarter discussion and <coughs> we are describing it as FDC at the cliff edge. What awaits the party's new administration in light of events that happened yesterday? We shall be speaking to honchos within the Forum for Democratic Change, acting party treasurer, Honorable Francis Mujuche, as well as now former president, Patrick Oboy Amriat. Let me first begin with uh, the one in the studio who is uh, the acting treasurer of the Forum for Democratic Change, Honorable Francis Mwejuche. My colleague, Stephen Mbide, is standing by industrial area. He will be speaking, or rather bringing us live, the former president of the Forum for Democratic Change, Patrick Oboy Amriat. Honorable Mwejuche, welcome to the program. Thank you very much, and I'm happy to be here. I'll Speaking. throw you straight into the frying pan. Forum for Democratic Change has a lot of cleaning to do. That's true. Um, unfortunately, we find ourselves in this situation mm. that the Forum for Democratic Change, a party that was started as a Forum for Democratic Change, realizes that at some stage <coughs> there were attempts to capture it. Mm. And uh, because there were attempts to capture it, we had a, a, a series of meetings, neck meetings, resolutions, on how we get out of this situation. Mm -hmm. At some stage, NEC suggested a neck retreat, mm -hmm. so that we go and discuss how do we get out of this. A meeting between members of parliament and uh, the working committee, mm -hmm. that took place. The NEC retreat has never happened. At some stage, NEC meetings stopped taking place. Mm -hmm. that the, 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 the meetings that would help us to, to, to run the party, the president, the president stopped calling these meetings. And so the party now became a property of two people. The former president now and the former secretary general that they, they, they will decide on what to do mm. as individuals and so members got concerned this is where we are going we are stuck mm. what do we do and in his wisdom the party chairman says now we need a, a, an extraordinary delegates conference the constitution does not say he will consult anybody over an extraordinary delegates conference. It gives him exclusive powers. That, to yes, that he will call a, a, an extraordinary delegates conference is one if he so wishes. Okay. Number two, that if it is decided by NEC. Uh -huh. Number three, that if he gets petitions from at least half of the of the party leaders in the districts. Uh -huh. He had all these, but he had the petitions, both from NEC and the leaders, and, uh, and the leaders in the districts. But he also wished, because he's in charge of creating harmony in the party. Oh. And so you have a situation where you have um, the two leaders saying, you cannot have this meeting. You will not have this meeting. Oh. He says, but I don't have to consult you. Because... The, the two of you are, con are conflicted. Mm. You don't want this meeting, but I must call it. And I think th at, at, at the beginning of the party, those who are writing this constitution foresaw a situation mm. where there would be a misunderstanding between leaders, and they said, this must rest in the chairman. Mm. That's why they said, if he so wishes. What if Nick is not interested? Was the president is not interested. Mm -hmm. the, the, the secretary general is not interested. Doesn't want the meeting to happen. What happens? And so they said the chairman. Because the chairman is not involved in the day-to-day -day running of the party. Mm -hmm. So it is assumed that he will not be involved in that conflict. It's interesting if in the future a chairman emerges who might be as conflicted as any one of the two who find themselves in uh, accused or uh, allegations labeled against them. What if at any one time the party finds itself with uh, a wayward chairman? Yes, that uh, constitution maybe may have to, to address it, but for now that's the constitution that we have. Okay. 
And so this chairman convenes a meeting, mm. but uh, 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 using his authority as chairman, but then you have a section of party leaders mm. who say you cannot have it. Okay. But there is no way they can stop him. Then they run police. Say this meeting should not happen. All right. The then they, they, they run to court. Uh, of course, the, w what happened in the court was just comedy. <laughs> Th that you have part, uh, the, the assistance, personal assistance mm. of the Honorable Nandara going to court to choose him of organizing an, an illegal delegates conference. So they were choosing the Secretary General, the party president, and FDC of organizing an illegal delegates conference. But clearly within the public domain, everybody knows that the Secretary General and the party president were against this delegates conference. So you see corrosion. How then do you choose those who are against of organizing a delegates conference? So, as if to say they should go to court and say, yes, you, you are right, you, they are choosers, we are organizing an illegal delegates conference. And then we go to court to say, but how? The one organizing is the party chairman. Why don't you choose the party chairman? Mm. So we are here, to, even lawyers went to court to say, we are here to stand for the party chairman, please, please make him a party. And then they say, no, the chairman is not party to okay. this case. So at the end of the day, and I, as I conclude, you have a situation whereby there is an interim order mm. against the president, against the secretary general, for organizing an illegal delegates conference. Mm. And so you say, okay, that order is for, for them. Since court even refused to admit that the chairman is party to this case, then the party, the party chairman can proceed. And what is really, what Ugandans must know, mm. that you have a situation where all cases involving FDC and the, sec uh, and the former Secretary General, mm -hmm. Nandra Mafavi, mm -hmm. are, are all handled by one judge. And this is Esther Nambayo. In the case of Asimwe Robert versus FDC and the former Secretary General Nandara, the case was before Esther Nambayo. In, in, in the case of Dr. Timjewa versus FDC and the, and, and the former Secretary General, it is before I'll Esther Nambayo. Honorable and Minister. in this very case, this yes. one that has turned to be a comedy, yes. it's also still uh, Esther before Nambayo. Esther Nambayo. So you want to ask yourself, is Esther Nambayo a judge in charge of FDC affairs? Honorable Mijushe, uh, we're going to have to transition and uh, go to industrial area where my colleague uh, Stephen Mbide is uh, standing by. And uh, we have with us the embattled. Uh, former president of the Forum for Democratic Change, Patrick Oboy Amoriat, who has uh, swiftly contested uh, this uh, particular development, one that uh, saw his ouster and the ouster of uh, the Secretary General. A very good morning, uh, Stephen. There's a lot that is going on. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Please go ahead. That, uh, we are just standing beside the Lord, not because uh, Engineer Patrick Oboy Amriat is out of office, but just because I asked him to step aside uh, on the road just for a quick interview. Uh, good morning to you, Engineer. Uh, a good morning to you and a good morning to viewers of NTV. Uh, can you confirm that uh, you're still in your office? Because uh, according to uh, Honorable Francis Mujuchi and the team that sat at Katonga, you're out of office. You don't have uh, any office to step into. Well, the resolutions of Katonga have no effect. They are nullity according to law and in a decision of court uh, to stay that extraordinary delegates conference. And also the very way in which it was conceived and uh, constituted and therefore, for me, I feel extremely confident that uh, I am still uh, the FDC president and actually I'm on my way to my office now. And they are sending you to a disciplinary committee, you, plus Honorable Kenya and uh, Secretary General Mafavi. Just a daydreaming, really, on the part of our colleagues. I think they, they should stop this comedy. This is real comedy. We will see in the next few days what happens. But one thing that I am sure about, that suspension will not stand. It is a nullity according to court because there is a court order to stay the extraordinary delegates conference and uh, those who went to this extraordinary
ordinary delegates conference and in, are in contempt of court. And, you know, that is really what we are going to stand on for this. What are you going to do about this? Because for already the, the process happened yesterday. Uh, are you going to go, go to court? Because they, they, are, they are vowing to come for you from Najanankumbi. We do not have to go to court. We have just go to Najanankumbi and work. We are going to be proceeding with our elections, conclude the elections on the 6th of October. And um, just for uh, the sake of our FDC uh, fraternity, I am going to be nominated as president tomorrow, 10 o'clock. You are welcome to come to my nomination, and we will proceed to elect new leaders, whether Katonga has a heap of resolutions or not. They are totally wasting their time. One would anticipate there will be chaos and crash uh, violence at Najanakumi, like we saw during the presentation of the Elders' report. Uh, we are in charge and will provide the necessary security. They are accusing you, the people who sat at Katonga, accusing you of uh, fading uh, goons to Sabala and to Katonga who beat up some people. Well, they need to come up with evidence. We do not own goons. You know, goons are everywhere. And uh, we do not control them for that matter. What we can uh, only be responsible for is what happens within the precincts of, of our headquarters. We take no responsibility for any goon or anybody who could have molested or beaten up somebody yesterday or any other time. When someone looks at uh, events that have been happening at Najana Kumbi and elsewhere from July, one will even be at pains calling this a forum for democratic change, a forum for democratic people who aspire for democracy in this country. The burden is on the Katonga group, Dr. Kizabeski and his group, to demonstrate to the country that they are democratic. You do not try to stage a coup against leaders. What they should be doing is participating in the elections, that they have struggled so much to discredit. These internal elections have taken place up to district level in 123 districts. And, you know, the most decent thing that they should do is come to Najanankumbi, participate, throw us out through a democratic process, not through kangaroo courts. You are accusing a founding president who is a, a four-time, your candidate for four times in the presidential candidates, presidential race. Well, uh, at the moment, he is not beyond reproach by his actions, and I think that uh, we will take him on based on what he does to cause pain and, you know, to, to, to attempt to cause the collapse of the FDC. And uh, now going forward, uh, is, do you think the party's, uh, the situation of the party is still redeemable because uh, we, looking at the events, it's now, it now looks, like, looks like officially we have two factions within the FDC. Well, this second function or the uh, second uh, power center is cre creation of certain individuals who uh, sit in, in Katonga. And, uh, you know, they may wish to leave. That is upon them. It's their decision. But we would have loved that they stay within the fold so that we work together. But ultimately, the choice is going to be theirs. Of course, I have heard Dr. Kiza Besge saying we may part ways one day. Maybe this is the time for us to part ways. Who knows? But for us, our wish as uh, the mainstream FDC, the leadership in Niger and Kumbi, is that we stay as a united force. When are you ready to part ways uh, leaving the party, or do you think that Besge will be leaving the party? We are the ones who are in charge of the party. We have the mandate. Besge doesn't. He doesn't have the mandate. And so it's upon them to see how to gain that mandate. For now, we are in the leadership. Until 6th October pronounces itself on our fate. We Can you confirm the October meeting at Wuma Lugogo will happen? It's going to happen. Come rain, come shine. Your final word to uh, the viewers and Honorable Mujiche, who is looking at you now as you make all these uh, statements uh, to the world? I think that uh, I would have loved to have a debate with Mujiche because he's made certain very wild allegations and um, misinformed uh, uh, um, uh, uh, pronouncements. And I have a feeling that I should really have a day with some of these people in the studio so that we may debate the issues of the FDC. For now, I would like to invite all those with dissenting views to return to the fold so that we may have a conversation within the FDC. Thank you so much, Honorable Engineer Patrick Oboy Amriat. Uh, for you, uh, Honorable uh, Francis Mujuche, you've heard him and uh, whatever he says, and it's up to you and the team at Katonga, as well as the team at uh, Najana Kumbi, to forge your way forward for the FDC. And uh, for now, I hand you back to Chris Igeni because uh, Engineer Patrick Amriat had to leave for other engagements, but for now, that's, a, that's what I can uh, give you from this side of the industrial area.
Australia for catching up with uh, Patrick Oboy Amriat, the embattled uh, leader in the Forum for Democratic Change. Within the confines of what's happening right now, we do not know whether to say former president or embattled president, but what we do know is that uh, some of the resolutions that were reached yesterday at the Extraordinary uh, National Delegates Conference were that he is now deposed as president and so is the secretary general now former nathan nandala mafabi let me return to honorable francis mujuche you've heard verbatim from uh, the horse's mouth patrick amriat does not recognize and doesn't see as a way forward anything that was reached or resolved yesterday by the extraordinary uh, conference. What's your response to his submission? Well, 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 well. Um, you should also realize that when the Honorable Amriat was coming into office, mm. I was the national coordinator for his campaigns. I moved ar around the whole country mm. telling everybody that the best of the Man candidates for the job was the Honorable Amriat, mm. and I don't regret it, because it was my conviction, mm. and so I don't hate him. No, he didn't indicate you guys. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just speaking up, up from my heart. Okay. And so I have no ill feelings against him, mm. but I am disappointed that my former president, the person I suffered campaign for, running around the whole country, has ended up this way. That he, he now speaks the same way Mr. M7, the one we are fighting, speaks. That he uses police against us. That he's using the army against us. That he's using court against us. The same way Mr. M7 is doing. And so you, you realize that his ways are not different from Seven's ways. Uh, let, me for, let me interject and uh, hold you right there. What would you suggest the reaction? Well, I, I, I am coming if there. If you were a leader yes, I, uh, in the shoes of Patrick Amriat, where? wouldn't you seek the intervention of the national police in anything that requires he had, establishment of law and order? He had all opportunities to seek for dialogue, to bring these forces together. Mm. Not to say, by the way, we don't even know Dr. Vesige. Can you imagine? He's not even a, a, a founding president, I mean, a, a, a founding member. FDC was established when he was in South Africa. You know? Now, to the extent that they started playing tribal undertones against some of us. When I was in Teso, such a question comes. He said, you don't like us with the Easterners. And I said to them, when I came leading a group campaigning for Honor of Amriat, you, the people of Teso, rejected him. The Honor of Araso, the Honor of Habatariko, the Honor of Okupa, the Honor of Angelin. All these were members of parliament who said, no, the person you're bringing is not a good leader. I said, no, he is. So, it could not, if I was sectarian, then I would have been supporting Muntu, because he comes from my area. But I, I went with him, and they said, no, 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 you, you don't know him. And I think maybe they were right. That's where we have ended, where we have ended. But the point, I'm, and I'm trying to, to respond to what he has said, that these are daydreaming. No. Mm. We are focused. The supreme body of the, of the FDC has taken a decision. He says, it is inconsequential. Maybe he does not realize that these are delegates who voted for him. These delegates mm. that sat yesterday are the people who voted for him. In a meeting, and I want you to, to, to note this, this was in a meeting convened by the party chairman to elect the president of FDC. It was not a meeting convened by the chairman of the electoral commission. It was not Dan Mugara, the chairman of the commission, that convened a meeting to elect Amuriat or, or Nandara. Mm. 
Mm. It was the party chairman that convened the Davis conference. At the time. At the time. Now he's talking about a meeting on 6 October convened by the electoral commission chairman. It's not in our constitution that the chairman of the commission will convene a meeting to elect national leaders. National leaders are elected in a delegates conference convened by the party chairman. And the conducting of elections in that meeting is done by the electoral commission. It's an agenda of a meeting convened by the party chairman. And so the one attempting to carry out a coup is not the supreme body of FDC delegates conference. Mm. The one attempting to carry out a coup is the, is, is the Honorable Amuriat and the Honorable Nandara who are attempting to convene a meeting that is not known by our constitution to elect leaders. To elect leaders. Let me ask you the question now. In light of the need to elect leaders within the Forum for Democratic Change, has the party chairman indicated when he intends to call for that particular meeting Thank you very to much. elect leaders? In, it, because of this confusion that is happening, mm. yesterday's delegates conference has given life to the current leadership. They have said, no, you could still stay for you can still stay for another six months. Mm. As we sort out uh, these issues. Because remember to stay as suspended leaders. No, no. These ones are suspended, mm. but the current neck okay. and other leaders are still, are still leaders. Right. Remember, w they had been elected as leaders, and when the time expired, um, uh, before the time expired, during the, the COVID times, mm. National Council sat and extended the mandate, the life of the current leadership, for another three years. Now, these three years expire on the 7th of October. That's why they were fidgeting to have a delegates conference on the 6th before they can expire. But we have said, no, 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 you can still have another delegates conference. I said, you can still have another six months because it was going to expire on the 7th as we sort out our, our, our issues. Now, for us, we are for harmony. He's, he's, he, he sounds as if to say they can go. We will not go. <laughs> He, and we are not telling him to go uh, either. Exactly. For us, we don't want him to go. Mm. We are saying we shall organize elections where he is free to contest. contest and become president. But we don't want an election that was organized where people were being appointed and given uh, in, in positions. Now, that is one. But two and finally, mm -hmm. journalists were beaten at Naja Nankumbi. I am sure you know that. I do. By the goons. Our very own. Now he's saying that he's not in charge of goons. So are goons in charge of him? No, he was very categorical. He the said goons within, were within the precincts of the yes. headquarters, yes. he can answer those questions. Yes, now but I, I, expected him to, from outside, I expected him to apologize to the journalists who were beaten at Najan Ankumbi. He claimed uh, some time back he had done that. No, I mean, even now, you, you said, uh, do you know goons? You should say, yes, I, 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 I you know, apologize for the goons. Now, for those, when we went to court, mm. the goons were in charge of court. They had taken over from police, even at trade here. So, I don't want to believe that these are goons. This is part of the whole trajectory of, the, of their understanding between those leaders with Mr. Museveni, mm. that please, we shall help you and give you security. And so, the so-called goons are security personnel in goon wear. Okay. Because those, uh, you, you realize that the confidence they have, they can go and beat people in the presence of police. They did that in Observer yesterday. And the police cannot touch them. They can come to court. Maybe the police doesn't know whether they are holding guns or not. No, so. but you see, he, police is in charge of law and order. <laughs> it is seeing people being beaten. <laughs> and as long as there are those in good way, mm. it is not concerned about their, their actions. But for you to just pass by, Busabari, you'll be beaten. But Allow this me. one is beating and, 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 and injuring mm. have the protection of the police. So Allow me I just wanted to say... Into perspective. just wanted to say Please. that my former president should realize that times have changed. And for him to suggest that he now loves FDC more than the, form, uh, the, the, the former party president, because that's what he said, that oh, that one is gone. 
in my language they say that if you have a child, mm -hmm. if you say you have a child more than the mother, you want to eat this child. I think the, the Honor Amoriyat wa wanted to eat FDC. Fortunately, we saw before he got there, <laughs> we were able to deal with our captors, and I want to thank the delegates, I want to thank Ugandans, that we arrested the situation before FDC was handed over to State House. Interesting there, and that is the perspective that I want. Leaders, including you, Ibrahim Semujungada, Elias Lukwago, have been very, very emphatic in stating how there is uh, a protracted campaign to hand the Forum for Democratic Change to State House. The accusations of receipt of money during the elections, we've had that, and it has been countered by Nathan Nandala Bafabi and Patrick Oboy Amuriat. Tell us, in no uncertain terms, what are the things or what are the machinations that Nandala Mafabi and Amriat are up to, away from the accusations of money that indicate, clearly indicate, that they are in the process of handing the party to the State House, as you say. Because when you claim that goons can act with confidence, in the presence of the police, and that should be one of the indicators Ugandans have known to act. And one, because somebody doesn't know who is who, somebody doesn't act because they just don't know who is who. They could be acting against a spy agent. Well, there are many. There are, there are so many, take us through these there things. Are, there are many indicators. Have there been meetings? Where were these meetings? What is being done by these two? To show that the party is being sold and taken to state house. You see, again, mm. the African saying that the higher the monkey goes, the more it exposes its private parts. Mm -hmm. The higher the, mon the monkey climbs. That's right. Thinking it is hiding, but it is exposing itself to the people down. Now, you are in position to see the monkey climb. Now, we are not. You are in Tell position us. yourself to say, but how is it, what type of coincidence is it mm -hmm. that all cases involving FDC and the Secretary General Nandara are handled by one judge? It's technically possible. This is a judge. No, of no, the High I, Court. I'm talking about a coincidence that yeah. all, all the cases, yes. not just one. And it remains technically possible. Yes, I, I, I'm just, I'm just, you ask me for indicators. Yeah. Yeah, let me show you the indicators. Okay. That all cases involving mm. are before this very person. And the way they are conducted, for example, in the one of Asim Robert versus FDC and, 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 and the Secretary General, mm. he was condemned and had. And had. In this very one, the judge said, Although it is, it, it is the chairman organizing this meeting, mm -hmm. but we don't want the chairman to be part of this case. Said, are you sure? So, who is being sued? Said the secretary general. But the secretary general we, 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 is against this meeting. So are you accusing him of organizing a meeting he's not organizing? So if the chairman says, it is me organizing, and I want to state my case, say, no, no, you chairman and your lawyers go away. You, you see a judge c c conducting comedy. Three, at court, uh -huh. the goons who are in charge would ask you, are you, are you for Nandara or you are? If you're not, not, in, if you're not for Nandara, you're not in the court. They are in charge of the court. They are asking you, if you're for Nandara, please enter. If you're not, go away. And you thought that in, was in charge of an institution. They, they were no, acting on. I, I'm just telling you. The the, judge. I'm talking about the power. Mm. Of Nandara, that he can order, is in is in charge of an institution called the court now. That sitting, that he can tell police that beat so and so, this one leave him. We, we used to know of a different Nandara. He's that powerful. Two. Shouldn't an FDC leader be powerful in this country? You see, we are all FDC leaders. I to am be able to speak, I am a member of parliament. To be able to speak or seek police's intervention. I, 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 am, a member of, police I am a member of parliament just like he is. Mm. I, am a, I, 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 I am a treasurer of the, of the party. 
just like he is an, a leader in the party. We have suffered under police. We want to have a meeting, we cannot have it. For him, he's able to just pick his phone and say... But Noop is also suffering from those... Yes. ...kinds of treatments. Uh, DP, some other actors within the political well, space. Well, DP will not suffer because... Why, why would DP, you no, 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 no. assume... Now you're, con you're confusing things. No, I shouldn't. I, should. I don't DP, think I, I am. DP will not suffer because they are part of government. <laughs> and the, the way Nandara and poor are acting... Interesting there. <laughs> is the way mm -hmm. Mao acted. The way my, my, pre, my former president was speaking is the way no, 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 Mao was speaking. If you trace the events, it was the Secretary General of DP and the president that spoke that way, and we know where they ended. And Mao said, I will be a, a candidate if you think I am against him, uh, I, I am from 70. I'm going to contest with him. He indeed contested with him, and he's, 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 he's not now just his friend, but he's part of him. So when I saw Nanda, I said, this guy, is, I, I think I, I am in love with Museveni. I'm going to contest against him. I said, yes, Museveni's way of capturing parties does not change scripts. The way he captured UPC, DP, was the way he was attempting to capture the FDC. But alas for him, he found us ready. And so, <laughs> my, my friends ca 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 can pose to be leaders anymore. Yeah. Interesting. They can attempt to say they are still in office, mm. we will sit down and legally. Mm. Let me, let and me and legally get away of, yeah. uh, 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 of helping them to get out of Najanankumbi, and they can go and do other, uh, uh, other, other duties. For now, they stand suspended. You sound like the man for who you're uh, concerned about how he sounded. When mm -hmm. you say you're ready to have them go and have their other business, it's like you're saying we, you no longer want anything to do with Patrick Amuria. No, no, I said they stand another. suspended. Suspension mm. is not an expiration. Mm. I said for now they stand suspended until the time when they are either cleared by, by, by uh, the, the, the national executive mm. or not. Let me ask you For this me, question. I still believe that we need each other. Mm. And that's why we are creating six months of interim leadership to create harmony. Let me I ask have nothing against, uh, against them. Mm. I only want them to realize that we voted for them. Not to hand over our party to Mr. Museveni, but lead a struggle against Mr. Museveni. Retired Colonel Dr. Kiza Besiji, as a founding member of the party, has uh, spoken out severally on uh, the goings-on and has expressed dismay at what you also seem to be agreeing with, attempted capture of the Forum for Democratic Change. But his actions have been seen as a father who expresses favoritism under the table. So much so that it has led to the infighting that we see among leaders within the Forum for Democratic Change. There are those who know Besige's place within FDC is not questionable, given his status, not only on the national scene, but as a founding member. Kiza Besige holds the ticket to some of the solutions within Forum for Democratic Change, but he has not been forthcoming on exactly how. He has chosen to play the politics of the day, using language that is sometimes diversionary, you sound, and I must say, ah, on the part or the faction that has Besige in, at Katonga. Shouldn't Kiza Besige come out more clearly than playing politics? Well, I don't, I don't know what you mean by clearly, but to those who, who would want to listen to him, mm. are interested they have heard him speak clearly about what is happening, including yesterday. He's fronting, apparently, Elias Lukwago. He is not fronting anybody for because president. he's not fronting anybody because yesterday he was in a meeting as a delegate. Okay, he's behind. He was in a meeting as a delegate. Mm -hmm. Remember, up to the uh, 6th of October, mm. I mean 7th, basically remains a delegate who was voted by Rukunji district as a district mobilizer. And that's why he stopped.
And as a district mobilizer, he's a delegate in the delegates' conference. The delegates that erected um, the current leadership. I should also tell you that as a member of parliament, mm. when we are voted for, and it is always January or February, <coughs> we become MPs elect. Oh, Until sorry. May, when we are sworn in, we cannot take office. Now, the, 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 the leaders that uh, the Honorable Amriat is talking about, that were selected or appointed, even if they were, they were elected in a normal way, mm. they would have to wait until the term of the current leaders expire. I don't know whether you understand that. That's why it, when I, I have been defeated in Buhuezu, maybe in 2026, 20, uh, uh, I, 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 I'm defeated in February. I will remain a member of parliament until May. You, are, you know that? Mm -hmm. When I, 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 my term expires and a, a new person comes in. Now, he's talking about leaders who he says were elected, but the, the, they are now the, 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 the real delegates even before the mandate of these ones expire. And, and as a former member of parliament, as a person who I know should understand the constitution mm. and the law, I am disappointed. But uh, respectively, because I really respect my uh, former let me president. Keep, let me keep on the question of... Uh, However... SG. Pardon? Mm -hmm. what, we'll just finalize that. Yes. However... However... For me, as a leader, I cannot now come here and start celebrating. Mm -hmm. That you see, they have been suspended. This suspension is an opportunity for us to, 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 to make up. Sit down, realize our problems, realize uh, the mistakes, and see how to move together. It is not that we no longer want uh, them in the FDC. No. They can still realize the, whatever mistake they have, they have committed. If they mean well to the FDC and to Ugandans. So for me, I'm not here to, to celebrate the, 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 the suspension. No. I am here to explain what happened and what it means to the party and to say we still need each other but they must realize that there is a problem in the party which they have failed to sort out to sort out as leaders i would ask you why retired colonel dr kiza besije does not readily relate or uh, is not seen to be relating with the League of Elders within Forum for Democratic Change. Yet he ought to be at the forefront of not only relating, but being seen to do that. Well, the, the, the FDC constitution talks about mm. a, a leader's council, mm -hmm. elders' council. Yeah, we've never seen Nabiso, that one, Kiza Besije, no, no, and uh, no, no, these no, no, others no, no. speaking with no, one no, voice. No, 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 no. And the accusation the elders is council. if uh, Kiza is not willing to speak. The elders' oh. council that is talked about in the constitution mm. has never been constituted. Has never been? Constituted. Why? And the, party, the former party president can explain that. Why it has never been constituted. Uh -huh. What was constituted was a committee of elders to deal with just an issue. Mm. Not that they are the elders of FDC. That's right. There was an issue to deal with and some elders were appointed. Let's deal appointed with the by the S Secretary General mm. and the President to deal with an issue where they were chosen. You're an insider. Why has that council not been constituted? Because you have a leadership that does not want a council above them. Because then it would be telling you, this is right, this is wrong. This is how the party should move. Mm. You, have, you have such a council in, in, in NNC in South Africa that the president ac actually cannot do things against the council. You have it in Chama Chama Penduzi. Mm. So th there is this national leadership, but there is an elder's council. So, it, it is deliberate because they think it will be another power center above them. And so they will not do it. And that's why when this was being constituted, we said, but why are you bringing these leaders as elders? Yet we have the founding party elders, like the Honorable Augustine Ruzindana, mm. who are highly respected. The Honorable Professor Ugenga Ratigo. The Honorable Regan Okumu. These are highly respected. Mm. Why are you bringing a party chairman from uh, Mbarara? 
a secretary of women in, in, in West Nile. I'm saying these are the areas we, that, that, where best they should appear. Why don't you bring those who know him? Those who saw the party begin, the elders, because they know why this party was begun. Don't and they say, Dr. WSJ, what you are doing is not right. Mm. Because this is not why we started this party. Mm. Why are you bringing this people who will see Nanda and fear? We see Dr. WSJ and fear. Dr. WSJ, I'm sure, respects uh, Dr. Nabuiso because he employed him as a coordinator for, uh, for, for the change initiative at Katonga Road. So he knows him. He's the one who brought him on board for change initiative. Okay. So. The change of leadership. For me. Uh, yesterday, ushers in a new dispensation for Forum for Democratic Change. Where are you going to be doing your business for now? Katonga or Najana Nkumbi? We are going to liberate Najana Nkumbi from the impositors. When now. is that? Today? B because from yesterday, they can only be impositors. Mm. So we are going to liberate. Sooner than later, we are going to liberate Najana Nkumbi. We are going to liberate FDC and then continue with the journey of liberating this country. Let's picture that but scenario. If the police seals off Najana Nkumbi, what will... In whose the, interest would they be working what for? What will be the next step? In whose interest would they be working for? Law and order. We, we are going to force them to show their colors. That's why when they said they are not going to give us security, we said it's okay, we shall proceed. And they decided to bring in security. They are not willing to give security because they said, we don't want to be seen taking any side, so we will not come. Mm. But right. they came. So we will definitely get to Najan Ankumbi and ask the impositors to go away. But we have also warned our people around the country, please, don't work with the impositors. <laughs> don't deal with people who have been suspended. You've suspended this is, these are the only people you can deal with. They've been working with uh, an administration. Is it also entirely N not in position to work? No, no, the rest will work. It's only the people the who have been suspended. FDC will continue moving. Mm. No, we're not going to come up with a new uh, administration, no. For now, it's the suspended people, and uh, I said they are only suspended. Okay. And Let's put aside the storm as it is within the FDC right now and uh, bring this issue into the a greater space of politics of the day within Uganda and indeed uh, the African continent. The population is agitating for a new social contract and when opposition parties like the FDC, National Unity Platform, Democratic Party appear to be failing in the formation of that new social contract and focusing entirely on what many could describe as battles based on personal misunderstandings and disagreements. A crisis of leadership continues to become uglier and deeper. The contestation of ideas is what you should be offering the nation. Yeah, when do you intend to make that yeah, 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 the yeah, 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 but you see, and that's, a, that's the problem I get with the certain Ugandans. Mm, including me. They speak like they don't live in Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> I do live in Uganda. That and I'm they don't know that even what we are dealing with mm. is part of the bigger picture. That you have a situation where you have a leader in the names of Mr. M7 mm -hmm. who has decided to use divide and rule. That you have two UPCs engineered by him. Two DPs. Even among the Muslim community you have one in Chiburi one on, 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 on old Kampara road, and you, 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 if you do investigation, you'll find him somewhere. Now, you, 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 even in the NRM, you have the, the new generation versus the old one, and he's just quiet. He's just looking at them. He does not want any institution to unite and work together against him. I am happy that these things are happening. Mm -hmm. Because at some stage, we may have to put away these parties and look at ourselves as the oppressed. The oppressed Ugandans versus the oppressors. That one he will not buy out. The haves and the have nots. That one he will not buy out. Those paying taxes and those not paying taxes. He will not buy them out. 
those who are suffering and those who are enjoying in this government. Those who can afford fees and those who cannot afford. So that it is clear that if you think you're just buying uh, party flags and party institutions, they are made up of people who have a spirit to regain their freedom. Because all these attempts have been done elsewhere. But at the end of the day, once the oppressed realize that it's not about us being NOOP, being FDC, being a Shambog uh, faction or a, a, a Katonga faction, that we are all Ugandans that are endangered, we will move together. So for me, I, 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 I want to state that every day that passes, mm -hmm. Ugandans continue to, to realize that all this confusion in parties, in institutions, is being sold by one person. And this is not a war against the uh, NRM, against the government. It is, it, it is a war against Msevenism that has taken root in many institutions. Now, once you deal with this Msevenism, then we shall have Ugandans strongly united against the dictatorship. But for us to attempt to say, but you guys in the opposition, why are you not united? You know wh what is causing this. So me and you should be working day and night to make Ugandans realize that there is somebody sowing seeds of divide and rule. Let's deal with that. But don't blame me for the divisions in institutions. There's somebody who doesn't believe in institutions. He will work, actually, he will not even allow his own, own political party to become a united institution. Uh, talking about unity, it is uh, pretty much something that the new breed of leaders uh, who are coming in, in the period uh, Patrick uh, Boy Amoriat and Andala suspended, should be able to uh, galvanize and create a new, you know, uh, clear path. What is the place of dialogue in this? Especially with leaders and people within the Forum for Democratic Change that are following Nathan Andala Mafabi and Patrick Oboy Amriyad. I am calling upon the founding fathers of the FDC mm -hmm. to appreciate what we are going through and realize that there is a need to put this party together as we struggle for a democratic change. And that will be one of our assignments. But two, I am happy that now Ugandans know who the confusing agent is in the various political parties. And by exposing that confusing agent yesterday, because we have exposed the confusing agent, the confusing that has confused the DP, confused the UPC, confused the Muslims, confused the regions, you find the Bachiga fighting the Banyoro and the man is very happy. One bus is going to the state house to say, <coughs> say the Bachiga are bad. As they are going back, the one uh, or, uh, carrying the Banyoro is also going there. He, he is the only right person and the other ones are crashing. You will find two generals fighting, one in charge of security, another one, another one in, in charge of police. They are all saying, Tumkunde is a problem. This one is saying Tumkunde, this one is saying Kaihura. The only person between them is this confusing agent. So now that we have been able to show Ugandans who the confusing agent is, they are not going to blame Muijuche or Dr. WSJ or Kwago. Or, now they know we are now embarking on a new journey to the fight for good governance, to the fight for freedom, as we move together, now that we know who the confusing agent is. Let me ask you the final question and wrap this up for us in uh, 120 broadcasting seconds. Ahead of the posturing and the taking of positions for 2026, who is uh, your likely candidate for president, FDC? Well, I don't want to go to 2026 when I have not yet sorted out. You've expressed your dislike for some candidates. You can no, also express no, no, your no, liking no, no, for no, some. No, 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 no. FDC leaders. Mm. Oh, you are seeking office. Of mm. FDC um, candidates, mm. whether presidential or parliamentary, 
are determined by party organs. And as a party leader will not come here and say, this will be the, the candidate. Okay. That's why it's actually wrong for any party leader to say, I will be a candidate in 2026. You don't, you, you don't know whether the delegates conference will, will, will come up with you. Would you like to that is one. But take two, the delegates conference's but, mandate? But two, for any leader mm. to say, despite the delegates conference, despite the neck, despite that, me, I will be a leader. That, those are signs of dictatorship. But for now, as a party, as with the change seeking, uh, change seeking uh, forces, forces. <laughs> as of now, we are interested in sorting out the confusing agent before 2026. And so, once there is no confusion in this country, mm -hmm. then we can talk about who becomes a candidate. But before we sort out the confusing agent, who may even confuse the 2026 elections. We should not concentrate on who becomes the candidate. Let's concentrate on how do we deal with this person that has been confusing Ugandans in every election. Because the roadmap that has been given out is a M7 roadmap. That on this day, we shall have elections. On this All day, right. so for us to do... Honorable deal, Francis yeah, 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 yes. Mejuche, I'm afraid. Ju I'm just gonna have just the, a last point. I'm going to have to... Thank you. Yeah. So for us, we must have our own roadmap. Our own roadmap. To deal with change in this country, mm. Museven can, can have a roadmap, but we, we also have our roadmap. Uh, so let's concentrate on, on our roadmap, and then we will compare notes whether he actually will still be here or not, and then what happens in 2026. We don't want to go to his roadmap okay. before we deal with our roadmap. I thank you very much, Honorable Francis Mejuche, Acting Treasurer of the Forum for Democratic Change, uh, for the perspective. Earlier we spoke to the uh, battled. Uh, former president of the Forum for Democratic Change, if events at the extraordinary uh, National Delegates Conference yesterday are anything to go by.